All right, so this video is exactly what the title shows. One word, it's just about begging. And folks out here begging, they don't care. You know, I usually walk around, I usually got headphones in all the time. I just walk around with them. Don't even have them plugged up to nothing. Not, I'm not on the phone talk, I don't even listen to music. I just do that because I don't want people bothering me. It's my defense mechanism. I can't, I can't live in a bubble. So I just walk around with these on. I'm tired of telling people no. So, and 90% of the time it worked. But then you got them 10% 10, 10 of people, they see you with your headphones on, they don't care. They just beg louder. They just, hey, excuse me. You know, they just beg louder. They don't care. So I made the car wash. Of course, got the headphones on. I think I was listening to music that day, but I got the headphones on. I feel a little tug on my shirt. I feel a little tug. So I turn around. There's a little kid. You see a little kid, you thinking, you know, something wrong. So I lean in with a little polite voice. Oh, what's what's wrong, little man? It's everything okay? Stranger danger? Did you lose your mommy? Is everything all right? I'll I'll protect you. Don't don't cry. Don't cry. He was like, nah. You got some money I can have? And the little boy looked like a uh, canard off the wire. Lil Canard. If you remember when they was doing the little kids, he looked like Lil Canard off the little bad kid. Lil Canard. Nah. You got some money I can have? Uh, nah, I ain't got no money. Little motherfucker, I ain't got shit. That's what I wanted to say. I didn't say that though. I apologize and made an excuse. That's what you do. You apologize and you make an excuse. You gotta be real quick with it. The excuse don't really have to make sense, but that, that's how I was raised. So he said, oh man, I'm sorry, man. I, I, ain't, I ain't got no chain. My, 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 my coin change thing in the car don't work. I ain't, man, I'm sorry, I ain't got nothing. Just, just I'm sorry, man, oh man, I'm sorry. I bought a Slurpee three days ago with change. Out the coin change holder, it broke. I ain't, I ain't got no, you just come out with something ridiculous. He just walked away. I don't know where he went. Hope he all right. Hope somebody gave him some money. But I ain't give him nothing. I'm at Target. I like going to Target at night because, you know, it gets rid of all the riffraff. You know, you, you get all in. You can mingle, you know. Get everything you want to get. Get in line and get out. That's why I like going at night. So I come out. Got my headphones on. I, I only think they was plugged up this time. But they might have been. Come out. And dude just started talking to him. He walking towards me. He started talking to him. But I don't know if he talking to somebody behind me. I don't know what's going on. So I just... He getting close and close. So I just say, huh? What? What happened? Huh? He like, oh, you think you can give me a ride to the metro over there? I'm Man, man, I'm lost. Dog, I'm lost. I'm stranded. I don't know where I'm at. So you like Dorothy and Wizard of Oz. You just, you just don't know where you at. You give people a ride, you end up like Teddy Pendergrass. That's not going to happen to me. I saw unsung. I saw what happened when you're a good Samaritan. You give people a ride. You end up like Teddy. Mm -mm, not going to happen to me. The whole town's not going to be laughing at me. Can't do it. So I just said, nah, man. I can't, man. I can't even do it. I, um, my passenger seat broke. I left a candle burning in the house. You know you can't leave them things unattended for too long. You know, it's on the directions. I, I just, I, I can't do it. I can't. My car don't make left turns. Oh, man, you going this way? Man, I was going that way. Man, if you was going that way, I could have given you a ride. Make up anything. Oh, where you going? Oh, man, I ain't even going that way. I, if you was going my way, I could, I could, yeah, whatever. Just make up anything. He don't like the excuse? Fuck him. It's my car. You ain't, ain't going to make me get in, get in my car. So, dude, call the attitude. I already told him I'm not going to end up like Teddy Pendergrass. He me mug me. He, I got in my car, I drove off, I mean, fuck them. See, now I know how a pretty girl feel when, you know, you, a dude asks you for your number, and you say no, then I get indignant with you. He's like, um, I see you in here, you know, blah, 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 you know. Um, can I get your number for at least just so, I, you know, we can go out sometime, you know. Oh, I'm sorry, I don't give away my number. Well, fuck you then, bitch. You ain't here with stretch marks on your thumbs. You thinking you like that? How you get stretch marks on your thumbs anyway? Real talk. Real talk. Tell me how that happens. Ain't here with varicose veins. Why you wearing a skirt with varicose veins? Don't nobody want to see that shit. I'm just over here looking all lonely and shit. I'm trying to help you out. Raggedy self. 
I was just like, oh, dude got mad because I can't give him a ride. I, I got a candle burning, dude. Get over it. I'm at the gas station. Oh, that's where the worst begging comes out at the gas station. The worst. Pumping gas. Dude come around the corner like a ninja. Like, I'm just, I'm pumping gas. Dude come around the corner. Just, uh, excuse me, I might mean to disturb you, but um, I got this CD, Q Killer, right here. Um, I was wondering, uh, you just these for six dollars, and it's just a lot of talking. They talk real fast, cause they trying to get everything out before you cut them off. And he right, cause back in the day, I used to just cut them off. Just nope, 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 I don't need Q-Killer new CD, his new mixtape, I'm good. But now, I'm older, I let him finish. Dog, go ahead, go ahead and get it all out while I'm pumping gas. I'm just pumping gas, I mean, I can, I can listen for as long, I can listen for as long as I can pump this gas. Do you. And he go through his whole, we come around the corner like a ninja. Uh, I got this Q-Killer CD right here, I was wondering, you know, I don't mean to disturb you, but and that's another thing. You did mean to disturb me, because when I pulled up, I surveyed the whole area, Oh, there's the beggar right there at pump one. I go to pump 10. I saw you walk over from pump one to pump 10. So you did mean to disturb me. Don't say you didn't mean to disturb me because you walked 10 pumps. No homo. To disturb me. Uh, excuse me, I got this new killer CD right here for six dollars, and I use this for four dollars. And, and if you want to help another help another man out, I mean, if you don't want to buy the CD. How you gonna give me a hooker? You usually sell it for six dollars. You gonna sell it to me for four dollars? Nah, I can't do it. I can't do it. I don't. I don't have four dollars. I don't have four loose ones. I'm not, you know, stripper ones. I don't have it. Who carries around cash anyway? I don't. I don't have it. And what happened if I did have cash and I gave him a five? What are you gonna say then? Oh man, oh you ain't got four ones, cause I ain't, I ain't even got no change. You gonna ask me for something? Oh, I ain't even got no change. You know how it is, man. But I think I appreciate it. Whatever. They always do that. So he gonna sell me the CD for four instead of six. And uh, if I can't buy the CD, then he gonna offer me something else. If I can't buy the CD, you can contribute to my cause. And that's that's another thing that blows me. So what you're saying is you. You want me to invest in Q Killer? That's what that's what you're saying. What do I get if I invest in Q Killer CD? Well, I, I don't get nothing out of it. I, I need to make I need to cut this video off right now and start another one with these guys that everybody raps and they want to sell you a CD. I need to just stop it here because I'm about to go off on a tangent and I don't want to do that. But I got another story. I'm coming out of Circuit City. Now, this was a long time ago. I ain't even Circuit City. I ain't even around no more. And dude got upset with me because I ain't want to buy a CD. So I'm coming out. <laughs> I, I had a CD in my hand or something. I don't know. I had a bag. And he gave me the whole little spiel. Come out of nowhere like a ninja. Hey, I don't mean to disturb you, but I got it right here. I was like, you know, do you want to you know, support local talent? That's all I remember. Local talent. That's what he said at the end. And I was like... Nah, man, I'm sorry, I'm good, you know, I, I ain't got no cash on me, man, I'm so, man, I ain't even, all I, all I carry is, is, is a dollar bill, just in case, you know, something crazy, just say, just say anything, he was like, so wait, what you saying is, you can't support local talent, that's what you saying, he talking with his hands, so that's what you saying, you can't support local talent, you can buy them other niggas, but you can't, you can't support local talent. And I was like, yeah, I mean, pretty much. I mean, you hit it, you hit the nail on the head. Yeah, I, I, I can't do it. I can't do it. I'm sorry. I said I'm sorry. I, I gave you an excuse. I did what I was supposed to do. I can't do it. The dudes get mad with you. <laughs> Dude, if if whatever I had in my hand, let's say I had Jay-Z's carpet. Let's say I had anything in my hand. It don't matter what it is. Like, I could have had Aretha Franklin in my hand. If Aretha Franklin knocks on my door or she bothers me at the gas station or she bothers me coming out of Circuit City, I'm not going to buy her either. I just, uh, don't take it personal. People got to stop taking things personal when you say no. I got to cut this thing off. It's time for me to go. Talking too much.